This video comes as a message from Belial. I invoked him some time ago. I'm sitting with a sigil, which has my blood on it. It has fresh blood as well as menstrual blood. It's quite powerful. I, I use the Ducan sigil of Belial. And uh, he really wants to give this message. Like I was thinking and he asked while I was writing down his message. Like when I invoke him um, either while the invocation is going on I would scribble and write or immediately after the invocation whatever it is that I have he, he has given me in the form of a message words or sentences or whatever it is I write them down he normally stays with me after the invocation so that I can write it down because he knows that I'm working on a book on him and it's been a long time that I've wanted to be an author but uh, you know, we both want to be sure that when I write the book, it is of use to everyone, to beginners, to those who have advanced a little bit, as well as to advanced practitioners. Mm -hmm. Now, this invocation, uh, in this invocation, I felt Belial's anger and rage his aggression and uh, I saw him in his beastly form he was looking like like he had he had a huge body I didn't see horn exactly like it was not a demonic form it was more animalistic you know it was a beast somewhat like a werewolf kind of thing he was like he was um uh, he was full of anger. He, the look of his eyes, you know, it was like... I was not scared though, but I was like, are you sure you want me to write this? Like, he was like, go on, write it. I want you to write it. And I could hear him. His voice was... Um, He was growling and he was like making those beastly sounds while he was giving this message to me, showing his anger. So I'll read out the message for you people. And what you see on screen is the sigil of Belial that I use. I'll read out the message exactly as he has given it to me. Uh, I did not cut anything out. As it, it's exactly the way it is, okay? I'm worthless because you don't understand my worth. I'm worthless because you don't understand my worth. You want to remain in the bog, wallowing in deep waters of mirth that you call life. It's such an amusement to you. Live, laugh, rejoice, while millions die of hunger, guilt, depression, want, impoverishment, and what not. This flesh, it's lie. This flesh, it's lie, SLY is lie, okay, reduces you to nothing but a loathsome baggage of filled. I try to open your eyes. I try to open your eyes. Embrace death. Embrace death. Live and let live. When will you understand it? All your fights are in vain. You're fighting against yourself. There is so much food, but so little for you to share. You maggots. 
When Belial said this, he was so filled with rage and hatred towards humanity because he said that, you know, we are living like we are living like maggots we are feeding on each other's flesh we have enough but we don't share with each other there is status quo there are fake leaders there are people in positions of power that that don't even deserve to be there there is corruption there is there's so much hate there is so much lie there is so much pain which is our own creation that is what he wants to say and he's like seriously filled with anger to see this so he i request that don't take this personally uh, he's not personally referring to anyone but you just listen to his message so he says he shouts uh, you maggots and he makes some growling sounds after that i heard some growling sounds then suddenly he silences himself and he looks like he is thinking about something and he had this kind of like sad face as if you know you make this kind of face when you've lost lost something like when you're really grieved by something and then again he starts again with that same anger rage and growl and he says i'm hungry he said this a couple of times in a row i'm hungry i'm hungry I'm hungry. He's salivating. Uh, this place, as I see it, it's a very dark place. It's kind of like I don't know. It's it's a dark place. I don't see very much. I just see his form, and there is sand on the ground. But it's very it's it's very dark. I can't see clearly except for his form. And he. Um, and then he says i'm hungry for the weak the oppressors the dictators the goon leaders the masked pundits the corrupt preachers i'm hungry they have no idea how much the mouth of death itself is salivating for them and their doom i want them he shouts when he says this he shouts like i hear him shouting he says i want them maggots soul eaters humbug then he spits out of anger he spits on them eat them all the death bureau eat them all the death bureau call me the death bureau don't be weak wield your power i'll be your shield and your spear your sword and your arrow the weak ones will be eaten by me the oppressors the fake leaders i'll finish them this was quite something like i know my guy and today he was like he asked me to invoke him and i got up from my bed i'm doing this in like quite late at night it's past 12 it's going to be 1 uh but this message was important and this is a message that he like when i asked him what message would you like to give today anything and he asked me to invoke him even though he came quite gently to me like he <laughs> he came he i felt his love and everything is warm but then this was the message that he wanted to give to everyone um i did not translate even though if i want i can translate the message but uh, what i'm getting through the message is that he is greatly angered by the total nonsense of the system of the social structure 
of the way that humanity conducts itself or has conducted itself and seriously we ignore we avoid others pain uh, we care about our own abu- amusement our own uh, merriment uh, you know which which he in this line in this particular line which i said you know just a second i'll open my diary yeah when he says uh, you want to remain in the bog wallowing in deep waters of mirth i asked him do you really want like do you really mean mirth he was like yes write it write it i wrote it and then i understood the meaning you know he what he wants to say is that you know we are wallowing deep in the waters of mirth that you called life it's such an amusement to you live laugh rejoice while millions die of hunger there are so many like if you see the photographs of small kids they are reduced to bones they are not getting food i i don't want to take any country's name here okay but humanity in, in general is responsible for this the status quo is responsible for this people are raising their voice there is social activism there is um uh, you know uh curfew like situation there is injustice and people are raising their voice everywhere and that is what belial stands for you know this unrest that he re- represents this re- great rebellion uh in people that he represents it's it's the rebellion of the people he stands with the people for the people and he believes that you know unless you shed your blood unless you revolt you're not get going to get freedom and this guy belial he stands for freedom in 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 maybe another video that i make i need some time to articulate his messages because my my notebook my diary is full of his messages and there is so much that we talk about on a regular basis but because i was focusing on my other um, uh, spirits like i was focusing on my incubus spirits to build a bond with them then with asmode then mother lilith because of that i could not for some time we were really giving each other some space so i could not come up with the messages or make videos on it but there are lots of very very valuable messages that belial has given me uh, in our conversations when we telepathically connected when we are together spending time as well as when i invoked him they are really valuable and uh, you know he's showing this anger uh because as as humans we can actually reduce this we can actually raise our voice you know the simplest act of kindness that we can do is we can share our food with those who are needy because the very basic needs which are represented by belial the very basic need is food water and clothing and a shelter to live these are very very basic earthly needs material needs when we have enough you know why don't we share why do we waste water why do we waste food why do we waste you know how why do we ignore people who need us and how can we rejoice building empires uh, raising businesses when we see with our own eyes that there are people who are dying of hunger we need to be responsible humanity as a whole needs to be responsible this is our doing we blame the gods we blame you know supernatural powers we blame this we blame that we say why me but i think we all are involved in this it's our doing and i i know that we all know this that it is our doing i don't of course i don't mean this is the doing of a group of people this is like this as an energy you know 
this energy of oppression, this energy of domination and dictatorship, this exists as an energy. It has assumed a life of its own. And what Belial is saying is that these people, you know, they are happy in their luxurious lives, but he, they don't know that they are going to meet him. And he's waiting. He's salivating. He's hungry. What Belial means by weakness, you know, he doesn't mean what he means, what Belial means, weakness. You know, he calls those people weak who are dictatorial, who are, you know, who want to oppress and suppress others and make use of them, who believe in slavery in any form, in any way, even the mild ways. <laughs> that is what he means by weak people. Because strong people would not do that. They would live their life. They have their own principles to follow. They are just. Those people are weak, who want to be like climbers, you know. They want to diminish others' entire persona in order to gain whatever it is that they want to gain. Unfortunately, there are, there are so many people with that kind of energy in the world. Belial is the lord of the earth. He also represents the beauty of the earth. And he has given this message to me when I went on a vacation. And I was surrounded by mountains and green valleys from all sides. And the only name that was reverberating in my mind was Belial. And that very time I came to know that he's associated with beauty and beauty of the earth. He wants this earth to be beautiful. But it cannot be beautiful when there is so much injustice going on. So when we work with Belial, it is important to take note to be as just as possible. You have to feel that rage, you have to feel that aggression building up inside you against injustice. You have to raise your voice. You have to deal with shit in any f way. You have to work on yourself to diminish as much to do away with as much shit as you can. Declutter yourself, declutter your life, and pass on this message to others. That is Belial's message for today. And in general, that is what he wants to say. That is, that is the main purpose of Belial's rage. He is in favor of freedom against slavery and <laughs> in one of the visions you know when I used to be a very delicate docile kind of girl but there was a re you know a quiet kind of rebel inside me too because in my own sweet way I would say no when I had to say no Belial took it to a degree that was not possible for me to do it alone, you know. I have been dedicated to causes, social causes. I have worked in the field of social work in my college days. And I have won a lot of appreciation and accolades for that. I have dedicatedly worked, worked for gender sensitization worked with poor and underprivileged children for their education, worked for women rights and women empowerment, and I've worked for raising awareness against domestic violence and alcoholism. 
I have written scripts for skits and plays and acted them out as a program, as a campaign for NGOs. I've done all this work and now I understand the influence of Belial in my life. He wants me to do this kind of work in any form and any way. And I'll be very happy if I'm able to do that. Because seriously, I also want the same. And I know many of us want this. Who wouldn't like to see a more beautiful world? But me or you alone cannot do this. You know, do it in any whichever way without without looking at anybody's race, nationality, gender, you know, whether somebody is a human or it's an animal or it's a tree, we all make this earth and this earth is the domain of Belial. He deeply cares for it. But I think People only want to see Belial as a as a as an infernal, uh, you know, badass demon, demonic king. You know, there is so much glamour about that. But there is a Belial who just wants the earth to be as beautiful as it can be, devoid of all these stinking energies. You know, for humanity to be responsible. And his definition of weakness is not really somebody who's physically weak. When you work with Belial, you'll automatically become physically strong. He has blessed me with physical strength. I'm stronger than before. I'm more resilient than before. And he has rewarded me because all my life, I have gone through traumas and challenges. My life has not at all been easy. And I always try to, you know, would try to figure out why the hell... Are things happening to me like this when I'm not really doing anything wrong to anyone? Like, I'm being so nice. People are being so mean. What's wrong, guys? Like, I have been asking this question to myself all my life. And then this guy came and he really stood by me like my rock. So I call Belial my rock. He really would become your rock if you embrace your shadow self, if you embrace yourself, if you work work on yourself, and if you do your bit to make the earth a beautiful place in, in any whichever way that you can. Animal welfare, human welfare, welfare for, uh, you know, to make the earth green, taking care of plants, trees, anything, raising your voice for the weaker sections of the society, contributing in any whichever way that you can, and you don't have to be holier than thou, you don't have to belong to any religious system, any religion to do this good work, you can be a demonolator, you can be a witch and you can contribute. People have such misconceptions about witches with pointy hats. We are of the earth. We embrace the earth. <laughs> and Belial is, he has sentiments, he has emotions for earth. There are demons who are not that concerned about humans. Like, they will work with you, it's fine, but they're not that interested, that not that naturally interested. Like, as a person, they could be interested in you, but not humanity, in humanity as a whole. But Belial, he, he, he is. He is interested. So that was a message for today. Work on yourself. Continue with your spiritual practice and don't forget to take a break.
I wish you all the very best. Stay tuned to my channel if you want a personal tarot reading or channeling session or spiritual coaching in which I'll be mentoring you. You're most welcome to mail me at adarabellamore at gmail.com. It's given in the description box. Dark blessings.